Hello, and welcome to the 6-5 Summit. I'm Shelley Kramer, one of the founding partners of Futurum Research, and on behalf of all of us at Futurum and more insights, we're really glad to have you. In this keynote session, Dan Rodriguez, the Corporate Vice President and General Manager, Network Platforms Group at Intel, talks about why we should be building a future at the edge. Let's take a look. Thank you, it's truly great to be here at the 6-5 Summit. Of course, it's virtually, but I'm really excited to have the opportunity to talk about the future at the edge. There are several technology inflection points that are shaping the future of technology, including 5G network transformation, AI, and the rise of the intelligent edge. 5G converges compute and communication technologies to deliver rich new experiences and services, fundamentally changing the way we think of compute and requiring all networks to transform. The use of AI and analytics is becoming pervasive in all applications across the cloud and emerging in the network and enterprises, including various on-prem customer locations. All of this, along with all the new use cases that are being imagined, are fueling the emergence of the edge. New computes will be built out much closer to the user to draw powerful insights supporting new services across a wide variety of verticals to maximize business value. And the edge needs to be built with the same benefits that are found in the cloud. Use cases need to be supported in an autonomous fashion to make quicker decisions on the fly. There's a need for flexibility and the right economies of scale to deliver the TCO and the right user experience. So why is the edge so important? According to analyst firms, in five years, humans and machines will create 10x more data than we did this year. And 75% of the data will be created outside the data center, in the physical world of factories, hospitals, retail stores, cities, and many forms of videos. More than half of this data will be processed, stored, and analyzed closer to the user to deliver the right latency, bandwidth, reliability, and security and privacy, as well as the autonomy for a wide variety of use cases. Today, services that reside within a customer premise or go through some type of cloud. In the future, these customer premises, compute will become much more intelligent, and the network edge will start delivering new compute services to enterprises and vertical markets in addition to network services. Use cases from industrial automation to smart retail to the many flavors of media, including everything from video streaming to cloud gaming, will benefit from edge insights. From machine vision to smart sensors and cameras, New capabilities make it possible to deliver more engaging experiences and make better decisions faster. These use cases will push and pull the platforms and the networks in all sorts of directions. Some of the use cases will require both bandwidth, high bandwidth and low latency, and some will require high levels of privacy and have a need to store the data locally. And many of the use cases will require always be connected with no loss of connectivity. Because of these drivers, multiple industries are looking at putting compute closer to the data to draw new insights and revenue from data, whether it's transforming shopping and inventory management in retail or delivering robust visual experience, including real-time immersive VR, AR, video analytics, and cloud gaming. Today's Edge is primarily a collection of fixed function appliances that collect and move data and provide some level of insights, but not in an autonomous fashion. Tomorrow, Compute will be distributed across the edge locations, and organizations of all types and sizes will be able to transform data into powerful insights that drive the decision, which in turn will enable profitability, enhance user experience, and create new services. For example, most industrial factories require a high degree of data processing on site, fast and accurate defect detection, near real-time image processing, and the need for advanced security in their devices and industrial PCs. In order to truly deliver smart factories in the fourth industrial revolution, we need to bring digital and physical technology together, from AI to IoT, robotics, network connectivity, as well as cloud computing. Retail is another excellent example where we see the rapid pace of technology innovations. Data flowing from retail stores can carry important contexts like inventory, traffic flow, purchase frequency, and real-time customer behavior insights. This data, combined with sensors, computer vision, and always-on connectivity, are delivering real-time insights that empower retails to deliver a more immersive and engaging shopping experience. 
These are just two examples of industries that are transforming. There are many more, including smart cities, venues, media, and healthcare, just to name a few. There are a lot of interesting use cases for the edge. At the same time, it is complex since it's vertical and application specific. There are so many factors that need to be managed and multiple players that need to bring it together. The wide variety of vertical markets and enterprise are really focused on delivering seamless and amazing experiences for their customers. To achieve this, we as an industry need to deliver the underlying tools and ecosystem to build out the edge. Everyone has a role in the amount of diversity that we will see. It's a vast ecosystem. Equipment providers, software providers, and SIs are driving vertical specific innovations that are targeting multiple industries. Some players have deep expertise in these industries or different verticals, and they can help pull together components and ingredients to deliver vertical specific solutions very quickly. Additionally, cloud service providers are extending their cloud presence to the edge through their unique initiatives and creating a smooth cloud to edge developer experience. Communication service providers are actively investing to ensure that their network can meet the low latency and high bandwidth services being imagined in the future. Additionally, they're also investing to build out their edge to not only support network services, but also deliver compute services in the future. The edge is truly a massive opportunity, and it's going to take an entire ecosystem and value chain to deliver the promise of edge computing. However, Deploying services at the edge is very different from traditional environments. It can be challenging for the following reasons. First of all, deploying at the edge is complicated. The edge is not a single location, and it can be made up of various locations with very different environments, and this can include all sorts of on-premise locations, including a hospital or a factory floor, to even a network edge or a regional data center. So the deployments will need to deal with different architectures, platform, as well as different network protocols. Next, the edge requires cloud native capabilities to deliver the same benefits that are found in the cloud. The same scalability and agility are required to enhance the overall developer experience. It also is required to deliver an automated operational model to drive lower TCO. Finally, edge applications require uncompromised performance. Different use cases have unique and demanding KPIs, from security to quality of service to latency to bandwidth requirements. Proper load balancing, automation, and performance tuning should also be taken into consideration. Intel's been investing and collaborating with the industry to address these challenges, from silicon to software to partnering with the ecosystem. We believe this will require a convergence of key technology at the edge, as this calls for the combination of compute, analytics, communications, software, and more. Intel's diverse portfolio allows our customers to create solutions that fit the requirements and constraints of each location in a very flexible and scalable manner. From a silicon perspective, we've been investing in CPUs and acceleration technologies to enable customers to scale their solutions across a wide range of locations and applications to enable them to support the right power, price, as well as performance. You know, these investments include a broad array of solutions, ranging from our Xeon SP to our SOCs to FPGAs to edge-ready accelerators. Intel's software strategy is really to create an easy button for developers. We are offering open source software development software to enable our customers to get to market quickly in addition to enabling them to get the most performance out of our silicon and scale across our many silicon ingredients. And at the same time, to support the industry through standards and promote a wide and robust ecosystem as well as a multi-cloud environment. Our software is focused on the three major workloads that reside at the edge, network, media, and AI. And we're creating specific recipes and development kits with those workloads in mind for targeted vertical markets. We've invested in something called OpenVINO to provide edge inferencing, providing real-time insights to businesses ranging from retail to industrial to media. We have Open Visual Cloud that enhances media workloads and OpenS, which enables app developers to develop the edge applications without having to deal with the complexity of the network. At the same time, we know that our customers want to tap into the broadest ecosystem for choice in their edge deployments. We're collaborating with the ecosystem to optimize, scale, and deploy solutions at the different edge locations. We're also enabling our customers and ecosystem partners to optimize and differentiate their solutions with an open ecosystem and industry standards. 
the phrase, it takes a village, crystallizes this point, and we need to do the work together with our ecosystem of partners to convert the potential of the edge into reality. Many industries are driving innovations at the edge, and here are a few quick examples. Audi uses Intel-based edge analytics and machine learning to automate and enhance critical quality control processes in its factories to increase efficiency and reduce costs. The predictive quality control solution improves the quality control process for the welds on these vehicles and eliminates the need to perform manual inspections, which was costly, labor intensive, and left too many unanswered questions about the quality of all cars since they couldn't expect each one. Using Intel's AI technology, GE Healthcare has optimized algorithms that capture X-ray images and detects pneumothorax within seconds. On the network edge, CenturyLink saw an increasing demand for high-performance applications with computing capabilities at the edge, where latency, bandwidth, and geography were all critical considerations for workloads that are interacted very closely. They're running virtual network functions and standard enterprise applications on Intel Xeon scalable processors from the network edge. They're ru also running emerging applications for retail, robotics, adaptive manufacturing, as well as AI-powered video analytics without any changes to their power envelope. As many of you might know, in April, Rocketon Mobile launched the first commercial end-to-end cloud-native wireless network, which is powered by Intel Xeon processors across data centers, the core network, and the radio access network. GameStream, a B2B cloud gaming services company, is partnering with a provider on a solution based on a second generation Intel Xeon scalable processor. This makes it possible for consumers to enjoy high speed, low latency, 4K cloud gaming from the network edge. Let me dive deeper into one of the customer examples to show how Intel Silicon technology and these developer tools are being used to accelerate time to market for our customers and to address their pain points. China Unicom is investing in a multi-cloud environment for their edge. They partner with Intel to not only integrate our silicon, but also open S into their overall mobile edge computing platform to allow them to steer traffic to the right edge location in order to deliver the right SLAs for unique use cases. In addition, they also use OpenVINO for use cases such as smart city for live navigation, traffic warning, traffic scene recognition, which reduces accidents and reduces overall city traffic congestion. Additionally, they've recently launched a cloud gaming application that's optimized using open visual cloud capabilities on their China Unicom platform as a service. This multi-cloud MEX solution allows China Unicom to also run all sorts of applications from CSPs such as Tencent, as well as their own application services. This China Unicom 5G MEX solution is now in commercial deployments in three provinces in China. It is running at the network edge and utilizing 5G low latency capabilities to deliver all sorts of services. There are several technology inflection points that are shaping the future of technology, including 5G network transformation, AI, and the rise of the intelligent edge. With all of this, we will see the build out of compute at many edge locations to deliver powerful insights to drive new business outcomes. And it's absolutely critical that we have a strong and robust ecosystem to pull these solutions together. And Intel is excited to have this opportunity to partner with industry to deliver the future of the edge.